Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the BP tablet names. Before that, we are going to see what is blood pressure. Generally, the heart pumps the blood through blood vessels to various parts of the body. In these blood vessels, how the blood is flown is measured by the blood pressure. With this basic information, we are going to see what are BP tablets names are antihypertensive drugs. For anything to work, we should get a stimulus from the brain. So, first class of medicines will work in the brain as the heart pumps the blood to various parts of the body. Some class of medicines will work in the heart as blood is flown in the blood vessels. Some part of medicines will work at the blood vessels. And also, kidneys also play an important role in maintaining the blood pressure. Why? Because in kidneys, it helps to reabsorption of sodium water or sodium water excretion, thereby in turn maintains the blood pressure. So, some sort of medicines will work in the kidneys to regulate the blood pressure. First class of medicines is the central sympatholytics. This central sympatholytics will work in the brain. There are certain receptors in the brain which gives stimulus to the heart to reduce the heart rate or to reduce the vasoconstriction so that the blood pressure will be reduced. In central sympatholytics, the drugs will be clonidine and methyl dopa. But there is one side effect with this central sympatholytics that is sedation. As these drugs work at brain, there are chances of sedation etc. And other class of medicines are beta blockers. Beta blockers work in the heart to reduce the heart rate, to reduce the contra cardiac contralactility so that the cardiac output will be reduced and ultimately the blood pressure will be reduced. In beta blockers, there will be propranolol, metoprolol and atinolol drugs. These beta blockers are the first line medicines prescribed by the doctor and among the beta blockers, metoprolol is most commonly used to control the blood pressure. And the next class of drugs are alpha blockers. This alpha blockers works in the blood vessels to reduce the blood vessel or vasoconstriction, thereby reduces the blood pressure. In alpha blockers, there will be prazosin, doxazosin, etc. But the main disadvantage of this alpha blockers that is, it, using alpha blockers causes tachycardia. It means increased heart rate. So, to overcome this problem, alpha and beta blocker combinations like labitalol, carvedilol has been used. These alpha plus beta blocker combination medicines are generally prescribed in people who have blood pressure along with heart problem. And the next class of medicine is the vasodilators. Vaso means blood vessels, dilator means widening. So, whenever these vasodilators are used, the blood vessels are widened and the pressure in which the blood flows are reduced and ultimately blood pressure is reduced. In vasodilators, calcium channel blockers like nifedipine, amlodipine, verapamil are included. Among the calcium channel blockers, amlodipine is the most commonly prescribed drug to control the blood pressure. But there is a side effect with the amlodipine. As amlodipine causes systemic vasodilation, there are chances of blushing, headache, leg swelling, gum swelling, etc. And there are other vasodilators like direct arterial vasodilators like minoxidil, hydralazine, which is less commonly used to control the blood pressure. And other class of medicine is nitrodilation. Nitrodilators. In this nitrodilators, it releases the nitric oxide which dilates the blood vessels and decreases the blood pressure. Generally, these nitrodilators are used in conditions where there is surgery, the person has increased hypertension, which a condition called acute hypertensive crisis. In such conditions, nitrodilators are generally used to control the blood pressure. In nitrodilators, sodium nitroproside and nitroglycerin are generally these nitrodilators are used to control the blood pressure. And the other category of medicines work on the kidneys. Among that, thiazide diuretics like hydrochlorothiazide, 
chlorthalidone are most commonly prescribed medicines and other category is angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors like captopril enalopril lisinopril these angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors helps to reduce the vasoconstriction and also increases the sodium and water excretion by the kidneys so that the blood volume will be decreased and the blood pressure will be reduced and there are angiotensin receptor blocker medicines like losartan valsartan telmisartan these angiotensin receptor blockers are generally used in patients who have blood pressure and patients with diabetes in such conditions these medicines are used this is all about the bp tablets and their names how they work hope you like the video if you like the video please share and subscribe our channel thank you